What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Ranami, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be covering the new infantry heroes that are available in your castle. And also, I want to discuss about the hero. Um, having read something on the Facebook page, I think it's actually going to reset it now and not show me, but um, basically, oh, here it was. So somebody posted, no idea who this person is. Hi, what equipment set works on this hero? That's a fucking good question because a lot of people were trying to say the infantry set. Um, do you know what my dog video bombs the shit out of me? She, I can hear her jinking. She's such a loud drink. Yes, mate. Talking about you. Um, so anyway, so I have the new one of the new infantry heroes. I also have a full infantry set that I'm going to place on the hero. And just basically to show you that actually... At this precise moment in time, I'm probably going to upload this video either tonight or tomorrow. It is Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, today. But anyway, um, there is no equipment out for these heroes. Uh, they're obviously going to drop a bombshell on us very soon and probably do some form of event, I can only assume. Um, so let's get right into it. So, first new hero, which is actually quite easy to obtain. Truth be told, now, if you're asking me why I have this equipment on there, it was actually only for a specific reason, and that was to push up my, basically my god of recruitment here to 50 million power. I just needed as much power from equipment at the time. So, just to let you know, the equipment that I've got on here, even like, Ancient Shield, for example, which is an infantry-based piece of equipment. It will not affect any stats when the hero is placed on the wall, which will be right here. And as you can tell, I will be bringing you a video after this one regarding two new cavalry heroes because they're opening up more slots, which is very obvious. And there'll also be two new heroes for Archer and no doubtedly two new heroes for Siege. So... Keep your recruitment cards ready because, uh, yeah, I mean, I waxed a load just trying to get the um, second version of this, which I believe is this here, Luminous Shield. Um, nowhere near it. Uh, my friend has actually unlocked it today, which is, I should have maybe logged into her castle, but I have, don't have it on this device. But, uh, yeah, so the two new heroes, just to sort of discuss them. Um and just sort of like explain to you the basis behind it. I, I, I think, truth be told, it's going to be all about improving infantry stats, um, you know, which is very, very obvious. But if you have a look down here in the section of where the uh, hero goes, now the first three, uh, sorry, the first six stats, as to say, are quite visible and you can read them. As to what it says after that, I've no fucking idea. So if you're wondering why it's in multiple languages, after looking on the Facebook page, I believe this the same for everybody. No idea why this is. Report it. It needs to get sorted because truth be told, it's fucking ridiculous. But it, a lot of it is about infantry health, um, offensive damage from the infantry, infantry basic HP as well. Now, infantry or actually just basic HP, I would have said that's something new into the game. I know you get basic attack, basic defense. But I haven't actually seen, this is the first time I've seen something regarding basic HP. Now, if you didn't know what that was, um, I've actually got a video coming regarding purple set. But uh, I've been doing some science tests, etc, etc. Um, and as you see there, in infantry basic defense right there, just beneath my um, stat. So I can only assume for infantry, So sorry, that's infantry basic defense. But I can only assume for infantry basic health is that will just fall underneath there. But uh, I think the heroes are mainly based around trying to improve the overall stats of infantry altogether. And then obviously, this, I can only assume the same cock up on this one. that You can't even understand what it is. But you've got cavalry defensive damage, cavalry offensive damage, cavalry basic HP. Now, I will add... <clears throat> right. So, as you can see at the moment, this hero has just got random shit on it, right? Now, I will add a full 
And the only attributes that I'm gaining here is reduce the crit damage received by infantry 10%. Um, and then the rest I don't really understand in the slightest. But if I show you the infantry uh, full set, I couldn't even think, a gladiator set? Yeah, okay. So I haven't evolved this one or anything like that. I was debating it, but it's taken long enough to just get plus four on the main set, let alone trying to do another set at the same time. But as you can see here, the only things that are actually available are infantry defense, infantry basic attack, and infantry receive damage. So if we, for example, went ahead and took all of this off here, like so, and then went and placed it on the new infantry hero, I'm confused now. Oh, shit. I can't because... Wait. Isn't the Brutal Gladiator set level 35? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, balls. My hero's only 31. But anyway, I just wanted to prove to you... I should... Oh, I could have done it in my friend's castle. Fuck. Okay, my mistake. I just basically wanted to try and show you guys that at the end of the day, there is no equipment currently out for this hero. Um, and they will probably just bring it out you know, so basically watch this space. Fuck's sake, I've got to go and put it all back on now. Um, but yeah, I mean, none of the attributes from the infantry set will basically affect it. That's not even the right ring. Um, and the reason behind that is because if you have a look down here, again, under the base, you know, it's infantry defensive damage. It's all based around, you know, basic HP damage, you know, reducing uh, the damage that infantry receive. And there's obviously no equipment. So... Um, added little bonuses you get with these infantry heroes. This particular troop, um, sorry, the uh, gold version of the hero, I used to say. Now, you can um, unlock as soon as you unlock the hero, and it gives you this top one, which is advanced recruitment. Now, what that does is that actually trains 5,000 infantry in your castle automatically straight away at the highest tier that you can train. So... For example, if you can only train T10s, it will give you 5,000 T10 infantry. If you can train T12, it will give you 5,000 T12 infantry. And that has a cooldown timer of 24 hours, which I think is a nice little added perk. Um, I mean, you can get, obviously, as it goes down, you unlock it more. Current infantry defense damage. And these are obviously all the new skills and stuff, that, you know, and attributes that they are bringing into the game to improve infantry and basically improve what they do. Um, purple version of this hero, the one that I do have, also has exactly the same skill. But Clash of being Clash of Kings, being who they are, don't really ever complete stuff correctly. Um, it says up here, um, current use to get infantry at the highest level you can train up to T12. But it doesn't actually tell you an amount, which is great. So again, when I press my button. My power just went up. Not a lot. So I'm just going to throw out a rough figure and say that it trains half of what the other hero does. So maybe 2,500 T12. Truth be told, next time it's available, I'm going to count how many I've got, go back and, you know. But I think it's roughly going to be about half. But again, it's not really a point. It's about an extra added perp, getting yourself some more infantry. And I can only assume that on the... Um, other heroes like cavalry heroes and stuff and i will make a video on them a very basic and quick one um that those will have exactly the same skill as well let's have a quick look advanced recruitment currently loading cooldown time <laughs> yeah good one uh so yeah this is basically what it's all going to be about now so there'll be two lots of infantry heroes two lots of cavalry two archer two siege you know and then whatever they want to uh go from there really so yeah as for equipment don't worry about it. Stuff will come out. Just get the hero, level it up, put in the right attributes, um, you know, whatever, select, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And just place it in there for now. Wait for the equipment to come out and then I'll probably make a video. So, yeah, new infantry hero. Let me know what you think about this down below. Um, again, you know, there is no equipment for it. And I saw I only going on about this whole infantry equipment because I saw a lot of people write in response in the Facebook group. They're like, yeah, it's an infantry hero. So obviously put infantry equipment on it. I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But have you tried it yourself? Probably fucking not. You're just another person on Facebook handing out free information 
because you're a silly cunt. So yeah, other than that, I'm Mr. Random. Hope you enjoy the video. Share your opinion about all these new heroes. And I will catch you peeps later.